Hey everybody, Tim here with tonight's episode of Star Trek The Next Generation, Season 1, Episode 15, Too Short a Season. Um, ooh, this episode was kind of rough. Like, it was interesting and it had some, some really great concepts, but I felt like it was just ahead of its time, if you will. Um, for one, the age makeup. Oh god, it was rough. Um, it just, I think they had great idea and they had a great vision, but they just didn't have that, that budget for it quite yet. But then again, like, even when you get to the end of The Next Generation, they were never really that great at aging people. Um, because the Admiral in this one, even if you go back to the first episode or Counter at Farpoint, um, McCoy is kind of on the rough side. Like, yeah, he's like, what did they say, 140 years old, basically. Um, so he wouldn't look that great. But even in this one, he was the, the, the actor was pretty rough. Um, it was kind of interesting. Like I said, I, I did really like the story. I really liked the writing and I did like the acting um, because the Admiral and his wife had some really great interactions. <clears throat> and it was interesting to see where he's like, I took both doses all at once instead of over two years. Um, and then to watch him slowly age. And I'm, I'm, I'm kind of on different sides. Like I almost wish that he had kept going backwards um, rather than just kind of, he gets to like his early twenties and just dies. Um, I think it would have been interesting to see him go further back. And I also feel like this is one of the few episodes where they don't really have like a moral, like I, in, in most classic episodes, I feel like he would have gotten to a certain point and been like, Oh, I was wrong the whole time. And then he'll just start aging back to his current uh, age and then like be a better man if you will whereas in this one it's like nope you fucked up and now you're dead um so there's there's not really like a a learning curve for this episode which is i i thought was kind of interesting and it's it's the way life goes uh sometimes you you don't learn from your mistakes until they're too late um but overall it's it's kind of an interesting episode. I like the writing, I just don't like the makeup, I guess, is what it boils down to. Um, for those who have seen this episode, what do you guys think about the makeup? And how do you guys think about looking at the original Star Trek series, and then the movies, and now where we're at with The Next Generation, and how they're doing with the makeup here? Um, especially, like, we've seen some Ferengi, and we've seen the Klingons, especially, like, the movie Klingons, and the Next Generation Klingons. They're very similar, but you can definitely tell, like, Christopher Lloyd had a lot more money for his makeup than uh, Michael Dorn does for his everyday makeup. Um, so let me know what you guys think about the makeup for the series overall. Um, and thank you guys again. I'll say it every episode for the comments, for the likes, for the subscriptions. And I will see you guys tomorrow for When the Bow Breaks.